Good morning, this is Reverend Pam Gagan from the Center for Spiritual Living, Pleasant Valley in Camarillo, California. Starting very late this morning, I apologize, with my morning meditation, Pulled by Vision. And it's wonderful to be with you. And when we're talking about being pulled by vision, we're not just talking about uh, things that are not concrete. We are concrete. Anything that was created on this planet came from the desire to create something better and then being pulled by that, that which we wanted to create in a new and better way. And one of our great examples is, of course, Walt Disney, who was such a visionary and wanted to create the wonderful Disneyland and Disney worlds that came to be known as the happiest places on earth. And why did he do that? Is to um, know that uh, all was well. When cultivating a vision, Einstein taught us everything is energy. And so as you absolutely focus on the energy and the passion that vibrates within you, that is what you are using to help unfold in your mind's eye the creative new way of being that is pulling you to get away from the denser feeling of uh, negative uh, news and lots of ev and lots of every everything else. Uh, today I woke to uh, new uh, COVID rates and uh, uh, degree. And what I know for sure is my vision is a COVID-free world, but also that I am doing my part. My vision is to continue to do my part, wear my mask, wash my hands. Those are the two biggies. And of course, if uh, I, I'm not, don't want to do this political, but uh, if you feel that it is necessary to get vaccinated, I am certainly vaccinated. And uh, I have done everything, not only in my own home, my own family, uh, but also in our center with uh, uh, including air conditioning filters to ensure the air is fresh and remains uh, germ free. So on those notes, when you're pulling by yourself up by the bootstrap, uh, so to speak, uh, there's wonderful ways that you can do this. And meditation is one of the best ways. So the first step I always say in anything, and we're going to do this this morning, is finding your clarity. Finding your clarity and developing a clear vision of what it actually looks like that you are being called to, being pulled by. And so we're gonna do an exercise right now to find out if those who are still in the midst of having their lives and their vision revealed that it's kind of still foggy what they want, they know the outcome and so what we're going to go is straight to the outcome of your vision in this visioning exercise and then asking for the other steps to re be revealed. And so we're going to start at the bottom of a staircase with five steps. We might have done something similar to this before. And just see how happy you are at the top of those stairs. And you can look like whatever you want to look like. Look, look, look like just like you look now. Or you can see a time when you looked your absolute best and were so happy. All was in your ball court, as they say. The ball was in your court. Now we're going to, from the bottom of the stairs, walk up to that vision of happiness, of joy, of having it all in a nanosecond here. So we walk up the stairs with a one, stair by stair, going up and meeting this wonderful, welcoming, happy, beautiful person two, three, looking deep into the eyes, four, even looking deeper into the eyes, and five, 
And now you are that person. You vibrated that energetic presence of that perfection of the, the who you are, the divine within you. Now you're going to go up to a platform. And there's a beautiful green light there. And you're going to walk up five more steps. Just closely. And that, that green light is your heart chakra opening to the new idea that's pulling you into the passion and the clarity of what you truly want to experience. The end results, how it makes you feel. So one, two, three, four, five. And now with hand on heart in this new staircase, this new, this new level, breathe in through the heart with God is on the in breath. Breathing in from that heart space and then out through the heart space with I am. Just connecting. And then two more silently. And now you are being drawn to a door in front of you that is emanating beautiful white light, but vibrating with all the colors underneath it too. The radiant white light, the indigo, the blue, the dark blue, the light blue. The green, the yellow, the orange, the reds, all just radiating through this door into a rainbow that is just so beautiful calling to you. And so you open the door and you find someone sitting there, or maybe even just a space. But you can either have someone sitting there, a guide of some sort, an angel, a person in the heaven world, even a person in consciousness in this world. You sit with them. And you are part of that wonderful, wonderful light, that radiant light that is radiating in and through that room and all around them. It is you too. You are in this oneness, in this light. And so either you wish to experience what it is like when the vision you seek that is pulling you is yours in your mind, body, and soul, and on this planet, too. Or for the clarity. If there is a problem with clarity of what that vision looks like, just breathe in in the quiet as we listen to the bells and the bowls and the water. and ask for the clarity of that which is calling to you. Let it unfold, let all the what ifs fall away. Letting go of all the probabilities and going into all the possibilities.
And so my vision this morning was so clear. So I'll share it with you. It's for my children and my grandchildren and all heirs of the planet to grow up feeling safe as I did growing up. Loving, supportive parents, family, and a world that works for everyone, really and truly. Safe from COVID. Secure in all areas of their lives. Following their instincts, being clear in their minds of what they seek that's seeking them and their uniqueness to express as I continue to be secure in my visioning and seek what is calling me. I am seeing them spiritually supported, spiritually connected in this web of life, stepping up, knowing that whatever they do to one, they do to all. And they come from that place of integrity. And taking care of, of themselves, friends, family, and the planet. And so what is mine to do is to be an example in my humanness, to be an example of what is possible, what is good, what the possibilities are as long as I'm alive. Not the probabilities, but the possibilities. So I am choosing that. And I'll give you a few more moments here to listen. Let your creative juices flow. And I suggest that you write down as you leave here today, your vision. It will give you an instant visionary boost, raise your vibration. including journaling about what you want to call into your life as if you already have it. Like a movie script, include how the sensation of having it feels. This will be something that you can look back at and will help you raise your vibration.
And so as we come back, we thank the information, whether it's in the form of a, a saint, an entity, or just the beingness from a higher plane, higher vision. We thank it and we get up from the table, blessing it, the information, the avenue in which it came, and without fear or expectations, knowing that it is already a done deal, with great gratitude from the heart, almost crying because it is so important, getting up from the table, stepping away from the table, walking through the beautiful doors, a call to you to begin with. Going out into the green, beautiful platform, walking down the first stairs from the green light, treating yourself as you go with love. knowing that the messages and thoughts given to ourselves create a higher vibration as we feel the love that we feel not only for others, but that we are treating ourselves with that same love. As you are emptying yourself from the negative and opening up to the possibilities Today, nourishing yourself with kind, compassionate thoughts and words. Even if you have to fake it till you make it, that is the job today. That is yours to do today. So holding on to the rail, five, four, three, two, one. Now at the rail, the original five stairs. still connected to that higher power. Honoring your choice to envision and vision a higher way of being on this planet. Knowing that you don't have to do everything connecting to this higher vision puts you in a whole different realm. It helps you to ground. And in that power you have To not only embrace what is given and is good, but you are empowered to say, no, that is not mine to do. This is mine to do. And today, whether it's practicing yoga, doing de devotional work on your altar, and your altar is the altar unto the world. It's what you bring everywhere with you. Meditation like this, connection like this. Do everything that brings you joy and that is the greatest way to become at one with your vision that is pulling you to it right now. And I say as we walk down those last stairs, five, four, three, two, one, 
back at the bottom of the first staircase, back in the room, listening to my words. When ready, open your eyes, wherever you're sitting or laying. Feel how this new visioning has already started the raising of your set point of vibrating at a greater and higher rate so that your vision and who you are is coming in to at one with the divine spirit within that is calling to you, pulling you into greater ways of being. Coming back into the room, I say namaste, peace out, I love each and every one of you. Have a bliss, blessed day. Please catch us on Facebook, 1030 this morning. I'll be with Lisa Coffee, East Meets West. Mwah! I love each and every one of you. See you uh, Sunday morning. And so it is.